Hi everyone, my name is Monica Godoy and I'm on the Oracle Apex team. In this video I'm going to show you the new way to export your Apex applications. The first change you are going to notice is file format feature is gone. Instead, you are going to have a new feature called export as zip. Let's see it. In the home application, click export, import, click export and you can find the new feature. If this feature is on, the export is a zip archive containing separate files for each page, shared components and more. On the other hand, if this feature is off, the export is a single SQL file containing the entire application. Let's explore both ways. Exporting the zip file, you are going to have three folders, pages, shared components and user interfaces. This is an excellent way to control the version and changes in your application. Plus, you don't need to deploy the entire application, you can deploy a specific page or component. Now, let's make some changes in the application to import in the SBN working copy folder. There's a new version of Universal Team, so let's refresh the team first. Also, let's modify page 2, breadcrumb and the navigation menu. Previously, I imported the app in the working copy folder. By the way, I am using Tortoise SVM, but you can use any other version control system. Let's export a zip, the app again, and extract the content in the folder. Immediately, I can notice which components or pages have changed. Because of the icon overlays on these files have now changed to red. Let's see the differences between the working base and the working copy. Then you can commit those changes to your SPN server, for example. Of course, you can use the command line to see the stats, which files have been modified, and also check the details of the changes. If you need to revert those changes, also you can do it. As I said before, you can export one specific page or component. Let's see how to export page 2. You can export a zip or as a single SQL file. Using include installation files feature, you are going to generate a zip archive including installation files for the export page, such as installation, set environment, delete page, page and end environment files. If you turn off the include installation files feature, you are going to generate a zip file without the installation files. This is the best option when you are saving the files to a version control system. Now let's export the components. You can find the latest components that have been updated and select which components you need. You can export a zip or as a single file. Since I select to export breadcrumb leads and page, the zip file includes two folders, pages and shared components. In shared components folder there are the navigation and list files, while in page folder there are delete and create page. Finally, let's go back to export the app. If you turn it off, the file is the entire application that you use to export, you can hand this SQL file to someone to be deployed in another instance, for example. In this video, I show you the new way to export your Apex applications. Thank you for watching this video.